morning comrades and welcome back to, well you know it, Nürburgring. In case you know this workshop then you know that we are at our dear neighbor, friend, uh, mechanic and co-host of upcoming TV show Revolutions, Philip. Good hey. morning, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Oh, I see you worked on your uh, moderator game. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> tried to improve it but it's, yeah, it's slightly getting better. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, uh, well, today's subject is your uh, 2020 track tool slash build slash company car slash we don't know what it is but you're going to tell us. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna tell us more about it. Uh, the M2 competition that we just did a lap in, it was spectacular. We had everything. We had dry, we had wet, we had slides, controlled slides, intended slides, unintended slides. Yeah, we had scary moments, we had very good moments. Like, yeah, yeah it was... Yeah. It was a perfect lap. <laughs> exactly. So we've seen this car already over winter when I stopped by a couple of times to see what you were cooking. It was back then like uh, completely empty, just a shell and some cage and like uh, wiring you were just yeah, sorting like out. Small and, uh, progresses all yeah. over the winter. <laughs> And uh, I was using you as my German class to learn all the bad German words because when you were working on this car, yep. Um, <laughs> but uh, now it's in complete. Uh, it's it's in completion pretty much. Of course, uh, like a real project car is never complete. But, yeah, you uh, know how it is. You can always start improving like carbon doors, carbon bits and pieces, like still some settings on the suspension, which is like you need to drive it and you need to get a feeling for the car. But exactly, we're actually pretty close. Okay, so uh, walk us through it. Well, what do we have? First of all, like, which is like very uh, surprisingly, it's actually stock engine, right? Yeah, exactly. It's stock engine, stock turbo, stock, e stock intercooler, stock mapping. So there's nothing changed yet due to mm -hmm. the fact that I just want to try out the limits of the car without going on massive numbers with the power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That's, I think that's the way that it should be done. Uh, but for the rest, what we see in the front here is, uh, I, I believe that's a different lip, right? Yeah, we've got, the, we've got the carbon fiber front splitter with an extendable flap underneath, which we can pull out or mm -hmm. put in for a bit more front end downforce. Yeah, and then if we go on, we've got the 18 inch wheels, 10J in the front, 11J in the back with a set of 265 and 295 directors. What's the brand of the wheels? That's Two Forged, ah. UK manufacturer where we are working on German mm -hmm. registration on. Yeah, what we see behind these wheels is like a 378 mil AP Pro 5000R brake kit which allows us to uh, yeah, stop way sooner than everyone else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, when the tires are warm though. Yeah, when they are warm, yeah. yeah. I think in Schwede, uh, into Arenberg, they were not completely warm. No, so, I think uh, the track was like still a bit cold, the tires were yeah. a bit cold, but it, yeah. 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 You'll see it in the video, it oh, felt yeah. pretty interesting. Exactly, on yeah. the back. To keep it balanced in the back, we've got an 11J rim with a 295-30-18 tire and a four-port AP kit with a 355 mil disc. Mm -hmm. So that we've got like a very good balance in between front and rear. You're running different discs on the back, or is it just me? No, I mean, no, no that's, discs. that's different discs. Okay. Yeah. Is there a particular reason for it? The two-piece disc works pretty well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it gives us a bit more play around with the thickness of the disc due mm -hmm. to the fact that the original BMW disc is 32 mil. We're running 34 mil, which is like an endurance disc. Mm -hmm. But while we're at the back of the car, we can go on with like... Uh, the wing. Some other nice features. Yeah, this is like for the burgers and the fries. Oh, yeah. Or it's like for the, when Corona is over, we've got the nice car park standalone one. Like, oh, yeah. hello, here I am. <laughs> no, that's the M240 cup wing. That's, which... the, that's the Nürburgring Tinder edition, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which gives us like pretty good downfall, especially in the high speed sections, all mm -hmm. the way up Kesselchen, Mutkurve, Schwedenkreuz. Yeah, what we can also see is the titanium tips of the Miltech exhaust system which is around about 17 kilos lighter than the stock one. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I had to save some weight. We're still talking about 1,515 kilos okay. off the car Yeah. with the full tank. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we can gain another 100 kilos out of it. Width? You can go for a carbon bootlet, carbon roof, carbon bonnet, carbon doors. Mm -hmm. That should improve pretty much. And we're still running, uh, yeah, which is scary, the original Battery. heavyweight championship battery oh, but you're gonna have uh well more more down uh, not downforce but uh, rear end yeah. grip yeah, yeah. <laughs> we learned that 635 was the first one who had the battery mm -hmm. in the back yeah um so that was a four-door one which is not that easy over here yeah that's true <laughs> suspension yeah exactly we're actually testing a brand new developed kit from motion control suspension which mm -hmm. is a three-way adjustable kit okay with external reservoirs for the bump adjustment okay so we can adjust high-speed bump low speed bump and the rebound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still still trying it to give it a try what's possible, still figuring out the spring rates, a little bit of adjustments. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? We've got like plastic rear windows. Okay. To, yeah. 
that's going to save us a bit of weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that should be, yeah, that's nearly everything from the outside. Yeah. I think out of some videos you did during the winter, we can see a little bit of the inside style. Yeah. So we've got like a fully welded cage. Of course, all the carbon fiber. That's, oh, that's so yeah, it's beautiful. awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Me too. The finish of that carbon fiber, like if it's the door cast, the center console, the footwell module. So like, what, what part is this? I mean, yeah, it's a carbon fiber door cart, I understand. But I mean, uh, is it something that you buy, just plug and play? Is it like Exactly, that's also? BMW Motorsport. Okay, so from the M240 cup car. Oh, okay. Yep. So, yeah. Because it's like a plug and play solution. Cool. Yeah, and then you have uh, like everything fits nicely. So you don't exactly, have... there's not oh. much to not much to work on. The only thing is like you need to modify this part with the with the cage because on the M240 Cup car the cage is like built in a different yeah. shape. Yeah. But that's it. Okay. Not much more to change. Nice steering wheel still stock. It works perfectly. Doesn't need much more. Nah, we're gonna swap it against an Alcantara one to yeah. get it a little bit, bit more, more grip. grip. Yeah. Other positions. than that, we've got like the carbon center console, also out of the M240 Cup car with the adapted iDrive controller, mm -hmm. which now sits in the front because when you sit in the seat, you can't get there with your head. Oh yeah, here. So I moved it forward. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, pole positions. Yeah, Recaro seats, short harnesses. Like yeah, the standard. I would nearly say team. like uh, typical track car yeah, equipment. <laughs> German TF car, I would say. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. What I really liked about it is a lot of people are going to complain, obviously. It's like, oh, no, 2020 model, OPF filter, less sound. But I actually find it better. Because to, be, to be honest, the OPF is still in there. It doesn't yeah. have any modified downpipes or yeah. anything, and it still sounds awesome. Yeah, it sounds it's not awesome, too loud. But, but I actually like it because that it's less loud because you can hear the tires better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear them squeal. <laughs> On a few bits and pieces, you can yeah. hear them. Like, yeah. Uh, but it's like, uh, you, yeah, it's more of a, less an endurance car. You don't get out with the bleeding ears and you still have air conditioning, I think. Yeah, right? exactly. That's yeah. what I left in. Honestly, it's going to be like 15 kilos and yeah, it shuts off on full power anyway. So if yeah. I go all the way up Kesselchen, you can feel it that it gets warmer in the car mm -hmm. because the air comes like automatically controlled and turns off. Okay, cool. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I can open up the bonnet, but yeah, what we see is like... Uh, just to prove that a it's pretty, stuck. A pretty big... Uh, Engine with like everything stock. We've got the stock intercooler, everything, so there's nothing modified yet. Mm -hmm. And then the, yeah. The exactly. Also, the reservoirs for the three way suspension system. Yeah. Looks very nice. Other than that, this is all pretty, yeah. Are you planning on doing something to the engine? Yeah, actually, actually, I'm planning when the car works exactly the way that I expect it to give it a remap to increase a little bit of torque and a little bit of power. Mm -hmm. But yeah, leave it fully stock, like no upgrade turbos, nothing, because. I think it's not even necessary. Yeah. You've been out with me in a, for a lap and yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's, it feels pretty good. It's, uh, it's fun. It's, it's fine. I mean, it's like, I think, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, like uh, ju just uh, modify the car you, you, to, to be suited to your needs, like in terms of handling, suspension and brakes, and then exactly. it's already more than enough. It's like, it's uh, such a great time to be alive that you don't need more horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave the car stuck and uh, have the warranty still, actually. Yeah, yeah, which exactly. is like, we honestly, we, we already use warranty on the engine. We got a new ECU. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it was broken and uh, thank you to BMW that they sorted out the warranty issues, mm -hmm. which awesome. is good. Yeah, no, it's cool. Well, thank you very much for this walk around and thank you much for the lap. And uh, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and enjoyed the lap. And in case you have, well, hopefully no any breakdowns, but in case you need something, make sure. I'll be here. Yeah, you, exactly. You should actually know where you find me and yeah, we'll yeah, get you out of that trouble. Yeah, exactly. Well, enjoy the lap and see you next time. Bye. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, I destroyed my tire on this curb. Ah. <laughs>
Nice. Nice. Nice or ice? Oh. <laughs> Sounds like ice. Oh. 